we're on today we're going to talk about club face control how we can control the club face or have an awareness of where the club face is when we take the club back I see quite a lot of closed or de-lofted faces or open faces and also on the way through post impact so we're going to try and do a simple drill or we are going to do a simple drill it's going to put us in a good position halfway back impact and follow through therefore controlling club face and being aware of where it is and knowing how it's there and why it's there Right, I've set my canes up pretty simple here. I have yellow cane, red cane dissecting right through it to make a cross. So I've got red canes and yellow canes. <laughs> so I'm going to take my dress position. I'm going to hit the ball this way. My dress position's there. And I've just taken a, I've got just any iron will do. And I've made sure that the yellow cane is exactly in the middle of my feet. So it's right below my sternum. If I was to stand there, you would see the red cane there is right below my sternum and that's the position we're going to put the ball in. I'm not going to hit a ball here. So there we are, ball position central. Now when we take the club back, I see a lot of people, I did a lesson this week actually, where the person was taking the club back and they were leaving the grooves pointing towards the golf ball. So they're getting up into this position. So the grooves are pointing to the ground. The club's very de-lofted there or closed to the path. That's another story but certainly de-lofted in that position up here, back down, de-lofted coming into impact, club face closed and pointing left and then de-lofted the way through So the grooves are pointing to the ground for most of the swing so there's a lack of club face control there the twist as the club was coming back was going this way instead of being twisted back to that way so the leading edge or the toe of the club is more towards the sky The leading edge of the club being more towards the sky ideally it will be in line with your spine angle but for this purpose of this drill to have better awareness of club face we'll class it as leading edge towards sky or toe to the sky so I take my dress position with the ball position or yellow cane directly under the centre of my body, under my sternum and I take the club back. Now when the club comes back, 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 back to parallel to my feet it should be on top of the red line, the red cane and then from there the leading edge should be towards the sky or toe towards the sky and then I can come back down through that position, hit ball and then as I follow through, if I turn myself round as I follow through into that position Again, the shaft is above the red cane and the toe is towards the sky or leading edge towards the sky. That means I have full control of the club head on the way back, post impact, impact, sorry, pre impact, impact, post impact. That positions or those positions fully allow me just to turn forearm rotation through impact, no manipulation of the hands whatsoever, much easier structured motion all the way through impact. None of that going on. All that going on. Now here's the checkpoint. So I'll take my dress position. I take my club back, 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 back. I ensure that the shaft's on top of the red line and the leading edge is pointing to the sky. Now from this position, if I make the red cane, if I can hold that shaft in position and turn myself round so the red cane is in between my feet, like so, and then drop the club down, we'll see that the leading edge and the shaft are lined up directly on top of each other. I've not closed the face, I've not opened the face, I'm in perfect position. Again, there, up, turn round, down, perfect. A wrong position could be or would be there, so you can see it's crossed the line and the grooves are pointing to the ground. Then if I turn round, bring the club down, you can see it's now crossing over the red cane wrong, that's too closed or too de-lofted opposite, you can still, and too far inside, so it's come too far in here there same idea, come down, you see the face now is open, too much loft and too far inside, and of course we can err on the other side as well, be up here this way but ideally we want to make sure we take the club back to that good position turn round drop down, leading edge and shaft, all mired up to the red cane. Now that was pretty straightforward position to get into. If we get into that position, there's also a chance we can get into that position on the way down. But then focusing on the post-impact position is just as important. Just because we hit the golf ball doesn't mean it's all over. If we can focus on a position past impact, then impact's going to be more efficient. So I've turned myself round now to face the camera. So I've got my takeaway position up to the top. Then as I come back down, my transitional body starts to move. I'm then in this position again, 
fact. And there, I'm good. Oh, and I turn, 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 I'm back to here. So on the way down, you can see my hips have turned, my shoulders are starting to open up, everything's starting to turn back towards golf ball. In that position, I can hold that shaft, turn around, drop it down. Then go. There, into impact. Again, bring it down, and then post impact position. Post impact position is another checkpoint, very, very important. Checkpoint one, red cane. Good. Checkpoint two, red cane. Good. Checkpoint three, impact. I can see. Good. Checkpoint four, post impact, red cane. Pretty good. Mine's arched out a little bit. So I've swung a little bit too far into out of the path. So I'm there. Good. There's good, there's good. I need to get the body turned a little bit more. Good, feeling that position. And then away. So we've got impact, we've got address, sorry, we've got takeaway, delivery, impact, post impact. Takeaway, delivery, impact, post impact. Takeaway, Delivery, impact, post impact. That's how you check it. So now you can hit one. I'm a bit weary of that camera being there. I'll give it a go. Here we go, so I'm here. I want to get to there, back to there, through to there. Good, so I've felt the motion I'm trying to create. I can visually see it all happening. Then I can play the shot. I was trying to get muscle memory to feel my way through that. It's a little bit tricky hitting the shot, but certainly it's a drill you could do in the house with no golf ball. I'm trying to feel those positions. Take away, downswing, impact, post impact. Trying to feel those positions happening at once. Guys, that's how you can control club head. That's how you've got awareness of where the club face is, or the club, yeah, club face is, um, all the way through the golf swing. It's also going to help you swing a little bit more on plane as well. So having an understanding of what, where is the club face? What is it actually doing in relation to the target, in relation to the golf ball? It's so important. Nothing else to really add to that, to be honest. Have you all entered the competition to win the Callaway Epic Flash? I'll leave a link in the bottom corner just before I finish this video. Tell you what, that's a prize and a half, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh,